Hello and welcome back. So in this tutorial, we will be taking a look on these commands upward and the downwards elevation as well as the plan elevation. So let's see how we can program these and let's take a look at the spot elevation itself. So when I click on this button, upwards elevation, we have an elevation that looks like this. Now this is following the Russian standard. Obviously you can make some modification. I will be showing you how you can modify the spot elevation at the end of this video. But for the time being, we'll be using the, these that I have already created. Okay, I can hit the escape to escape of this command. And then downwards elevation. So just do something like this. And if I go to the plan view, I can use this one as well. Now you can use these in an elevation as well, but they don't look uh, good on elevation. They look best on plans. Okay, so let's take a look on how you can do that. So without further ado, let's get it going. So we opened up Visual Studio. Now we just scroll down to Revit 2020 add-in, C-sharp.net. Okay, we're going to be hitting this. Next, we'll give it a name. Let's call it VA. VA tutorial spot elevation create as you know we need to create some modifications here before we can actually use this command so I'll just put this on fast forward you can watch some previous video to know exactly what we do right here And don't forget to set the copy local value to false. Now we can get started. So first I'll be deleting this. So first allow me to explain how this plugin actually works. So when we go to annotate and we click the spot elevation button, we have all of these elevations that I have created. The target is the one that is loaded with Revit, but all of these are created by me. So we can use them right here. The same thing will happen. Now, what this command actually does is actually launch that command that you see right here and setting the default spot elevation. So if I click on the spot elevation downwards, it will set the default as the VA downwards and then launch this command. If I click on the plan, it will set the VA plan as default and then launches the command. So to get this working on your machine, you will be actually needing all of these that I have created. Now I'll be showing you how you can copy it in the, into your project. I have created this project called VA Spot Elevations in Revit 2019. So if you have Revit 2019 or older, you can use this without any problems. These are the spot elevations that I have created. So how you can use them. First, you need to launch this file, this project right here, and then you can launch a new file or open up a project that you're working on in the meantime. So I'll be opening a new file. So I'll just go to file, new, construction architectural template. Okay, so how you can copy these spot elevations from here to there, you can just click on them and hit control C and then hitting control V it will not work spot some spot dimension were not copied because some reference were lost so as you can see it doesn't work what you need to do is actually go to manage transfer project uh, standards so click on this and as you can see copy from VA spot elevation so i'll be checking none and then scrolling down spot dimension settings you need to click on this button right here click on okay okay now let's see if it works so i'll just create a wall go to my va tab upwards elevation yep it works downwards and plan as you can see works just fine i'll be leaving a link to this file right here so you can download it and use it so back to visual studio let's see how you can actually uh, do this right here. So first thing you need to do is go into your transaction. 
So we'll just name, rename the transaction name to something like spot elevation downwards. Now, first thing we need to do is actually search for this right here for this spot elevation. As you can see, it is called underscore VA underscore downwards. So we type in. Spot elevation IDs equals new we've created a filtered element collector in the document of class and type of class spot dimension type now we just create an empty element and we're going to be go and we'll be searching in this spot elevation IDs for the VA downwards and we'll be assigning it to the elements that we have created right here. So I'm going to create a for, a for loop. For var variable item in spot elevation IDs, if the item dot name equals, and we'll go here at the type. And click on rename and we'll just copy this name so we need to copy it exactly with the uppercase and all of it so cancel cancel spot elevation element equals item okay go here and now we just need to get the ID of this element right here so element ID Now we're just going to be setting this as the default value, default value before actually launching the command. So document dot set default element type ID of the element type group spot elevation type, the spot elevation ID. So Revit command, command ID, Revit command ID, look up possible command and possible command spot elevation. So this way, this button that we have created will automatically launch this command right here. Now, if you want to know all about how you can launch uh, Revit commands inside of Visual Studio or inside your code, you can visit this site. This site is for the Revit API docs. You can actually look up postable commands or so just postable commands enumeration now these are all of the commands that you can launch i'll make a search this is the one that we have created the spot elevation command in this way you can actually use any of these commands inside of your code this is a really good website it's free to use you can obviously uh, if you want to create awesome revit plugins you're going to be relying on this website a lot now we just need to finish up. Bool B, UI app can post command. UI app post command and command ID. Now we just need to tx.commit. Okay. Looks great. Okay, first I'm going to be closing Revit and then I'll build this program and see how it works. I'm back in the files that you, you can find in the description box. Let's see if the command actually works. So we'll go to add in external tool, VA tutorial spot elevation. Okay, it works without any problem. Now you need to actually pay attention because if you launch this command and you don't have this loaded into your project, you're going to be having an error. I'll be showing you right here what happens if you are in a new project like the one I have created and try to use this command. So I'll go into add in external tool, spot elevation. Your command will just broke. So to escape any unfortunate accidents like this, I'll just hit on stop debugging and we'll be using the try and catch method to actually protect the user from actually accidenting, accidentally running this command when you don't have the spot elevations loaded. So just try 
open brackets. I'll be copying all of this. And then catch task dialog dot show. Test dialog that show error something went wrong please contact your bin manager return result failed and return result succeeded now proceed now this is, you don't actually need to pay attention to this sometimes it just happens i'll just clean up my code a bit L oops okay application let's call this let's try to rebuild the solution let's see if it works Okay, it succeeded. So you don't really need to pay attention for this red line of things that you see right here because the code that we tried to rebuilding the code and it works just fine. So let's relaunch the command. Now here we have a project that doesn't have this VA downwards elevation loaded. You can see this We've got spot elevation. We only have the ones that are loaded with Revit. So if I go into add-ins, external spot elevation, Okay, something went wrong. Why is it try and catch mess? It didn't work. Let's see. I'll just stop this right here. As you can see, I have launched Revit on its own without Visual Studio. And if I go to add-ins and external to VA spot elevation, the try and catch method worked. But if I launch Revit through Visual Studio, for some weird reason, it just fails and doesn't show me this command. VA tutorial, uh, VA tutorial spot elevation error, something went wrong, please contact your BIM manager. So as you can see, the method actually worked, but you need to launch Revit on its own. Now let's talk about these spot elevations and how you can actually modify them. So if I go into here, spot elevation VA upward, go to edit type. Here I have the spot elevations that I have created. So I have up, down and spot plane. So to find them, you need to go to families, annotation symbols. I have two spot elevations, the up and down, and the plan one. So if I go here, click on the right button and click on edit. So as you can see, this is the spot elevations that I have created. I have two arrows, one is facing upwards, one facing downwards, and two boundaries. The, the boundaries you can check on the visibility. You can actually uh, do all kinds of modifications to this. Uh, spot elevation families that I have created. And even you can go further and click on this arrow right here, or this one doesn't really matter, go to edit family. Now this is the one that I have created. As you can see, everything is parametric. You can obviously change whatever you want. And inside of this family, I have created all of these leader angle, leader links, and the arrow links, and the base height, which is this one right here, and this one right here. And you can change them whatever you want and you can obviously create your own if you want you can experiment with this as much as you want and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video you can hit the like and subscribe button down there and see you in the next one